Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new Threadbox. Now um, you may remember from uh, last time I did say that I was going to try and cancel the Threadbox because it just wasn't really what I was looking for. A lot of stuff that I'm getting in these boxes just doesn't interest me. It turns out that cancelling it is a little bit harder than you would expect it to be. Um, I won't go into all the details but it kind of like left a really really bad taste in my mouth so much that um, after the next set box I'll be cancelling that as well. Um, I'm going to try out uh, Infinity Crate Premium for a little while um, which is a bit more expensive but you know it, it, it looks pretty decent I've heard good things and um, I'll see if it's uh, if it's any good. I probably wouldn't recommend subscribing to anything run by the Hook Group. That is, uh, that that includes like Zbox and uh, my Geekbox stuff like that, because um, you're all right as 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 long as your uh, subscription keeps going. But just trying to cancel it is just an absolute pain in the ass. You, you would you would assume on the website there would be a button that says uh, stop subscription, but there's not. You've got to message them, and you've got to message them in a quite small time frame. You have to message them in between the time where the box is dispatched and when your next payment comes out. And that's not so much of a problem for the Z box because you get billed at the start of the month and the box comes at the start of the month. So you've got like a few weeks there to kind of like cancel it in. But with the, with, with the Earth Threads box, which gets billed at the start of the month and um, comes out at the end of the month, you've got a very, very small window before your next payment date uh, to cancel it. And I did this whole back and forth with the, uh, with the customer service team and they said it was too late to cancel another guy said it was too early to cancel and um, I ended up just saying you know don't charge me again or I'll take it to trading standards voila suddenly subscription cancelled just like that so why they couldn't do that before I don't know I know I said I wouldn't go into it but it, it, it annoyed me quite a bit so <laughs> yeah let's see what's in this last one um, I doubt it's gonna be decent but we'll uh, We'll, we'll we'll see. I've I've already said before. I don't really like the the uh, design of the t-shirts that much. Uh, they all seem to be done by the same person. I just don't really like the art style. But you never know. The, 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 this one might surprise me. Uh, we've actually got the book in the uh, in the top first. That is uh, Armada by Ernest Klein. I have never heard of it. Uh, I'll read you the back of it. It says it's just another day of high school for Zach Lightman. But then he glances out of his classroom window and spots the flying saucer. Zack thinks he's going crazy. The UFO he's staring at is straight out of the video game he plays every night, Armada, in which the gamers just happen to be protecting the Earth from alien invaders. But what Zack's seeing is all too real, and his skills are going to be needed to save the Earth from what's about to befall it. Yet even as he scrambles to prepare for the alien onslaught, Zack can't help thinking of all the science fiction books, TV shows and movies he grew up reading and watching doesn't something about this scenario seem a little too familiar? So that's what that's about. Um, geez, I, I mean, it's it, it, it's a fair sized book, and look at the size of the text. That is that is a lot smaller than the text that you get in a regular book. Um, that is huge. I'm I'm I will probably never read that. It, it from from the back, it doesn't sound like my kind of thing. But, uh, like I said, I, I, I wasn't expecting decent things in this box. Uh, we have a t-shirt, which is the last thing in the box. So i pop that down, let's see what we've got. You know what? For once, I'm going to say I do actually like this t-shirt. Um, that is an Aliens one, you've got Ripley. Uh, bunch of survivors um, on the uh, on the walls there in cocoons, and she's fighting off aliens with a flamethrower. Um, that that is a nice T-shirt. I do like that. Again, it does have the same art style. 
but it does kind of work on this particular one. Um, so she she's flamethrower in the eggs, not 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 aliens. Um, yeah, that 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 I actually quite like. The book I couldn't give two shits about. But yeah, that was the uh, the final, definitely final threads box. Um, and there will be no more of those. Um, join me again in a few weeks time we'll be taking a look at the final Z box unless I have problems unsubscribing from that as well um, in which case fuck me uh, but we'll uh, we'll get to that when uh, when it happens and the comics one which I'm going to wait for and then cancel because I have been billed for it like two months ago um, and it's still not come no, well I mean it's not just me like no one's got it yet um, but yeah, I'll be I'll be cancelling that. I mean, if they start taking pre-orders for something and they say it's coming soon, and then they don't give a date for it, and then it ends up taking a very very long time to do, then you know it's it's not something that I want to carry on doing. And like I said, I just I just want to be done with all of the um, Zbox affiliated stuff. So they're all going to be cancelled off when the next box comes. So uh, look forward to those videos. Look forward to the Infinity Crates Premium. Uh, video which should be coming soon. The cutoff date for the August box is in about five days' time. So I'm assuming they get sent out probably within like a week after that or so. I'm not entirely sure what the time frame of that is. Um, I only subscribed to it like a few days ago. So that should be coming hopefully within the next two weeks or so. But uh, But we'll see what happens with that. So if you enjoyed this video, please click like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.